Hey guys, it's Ghosty. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be talking about Saw X. The wait is finally over. Saw X has hit the theater and you already know my ass was seated, heated, and ready. It was such an experience. I treated myself a little bit and tried out a new theater that was a little bit fancier. It was great. And this movie is fucking amazing. If you follow me on social media, you already know I posted my initial thoughts on Letterboxd. Link right here. I really liked this film. I think that this is a great one for the long time fans. I think that this is a great one for people that love those early Saw movies specifically. Ooh, they created a movie that could very well seamlessly fit right with those early films. This movie delivers a sweet taste of nostalgia, but also manages to bring its own flair. That I'll get into later in the spoiler part of this video. I love that this film brings back some of the sentimental themes that were brought in the earlier films, especially with that relationship of Amanda and John. I think this movie would pair very well with Saw 3 is a fave. Darren Bosman, I would have loved to have seen come back on for this project, but I am mad. I was so upset that they killed off Amanda because they had so much potential because Amanda is an amazing character. Shawnee Smith plays her so well, and it's like the fans want Amanda. We want more Amanda, we want more John. Not only are we getting nostalgia from characters that we love, but this shit's nasty. The shit is nasty. The traps are nasty. It's gory. There were some parts that I was like, you know just like really grossed out by visually this film looks like a classic Saw film. Personally, I always felt like the earlier Saw films were really like oversaturated, deep reds and deep dark colors. Shot so fucking well. Kudos to fucking Kevin Gruder, who was brought back to direct this film, of course. And honestly, I can't think of a better person. He's been involved in many of the Saw films, not only as a director, but also as an editor. And I wouldn't be surprised if he did another one as well or another role as well. The script is pretty fucking tight. Probably one of the better ones out of all the Saw scripts. Story-wise, every Saw movie is pretty solid, but some of the script is like, okay, like, right, you know? <laughs> this one manages to really do its thing. So now I'm gonna get into some more spoilers and talk more about the film and the plot. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want it spoiled, turn the video off take your ass to the theater and come back and finish this video. If you already seen the movie, let's talk about Saw X, baby. Get it? Like the song. Saw X takes place somewhere between Saw 1 and Saw 2. And at this time, John Kramer is not really feeling good because he has cancer and it's fucking him up. It's making him feel despair. He's seeking out support with a emotional support group. Doesn't seem to be helping him. It's really hard for John to accept his fate it's hard to accept that he's going to die that really contextualizes his philosophy and why he's like pissed at people being shitty he feels he has more of an appreciation of life john is also very egotistical and kind of has a god complex this is probably why the man is struggling with the fact that he has to die he does at least write his will he bumps into one of the people that's in his emotional support group he prefers john to a doctor who claims that he is cured he had surgery he even shows a fucking scar to this man trying to really sell this now of course as the audience we all know that this is a scam that's one thing I did not like about this film. The trailer told the setup. Something that I feel is essential to a Saw film and what really makes a Saw film is an element of a mystery. We know that there's going to be a plot twist and I have to say the plot twist of this one's a little low more. But on top of that plot twist, there's always mystery. There's always reveals. That's what makes the fucking Saw movie slap. This didn't really have that because they kind of blew that in the trailer. But I digress. I accept it um, because the movie still delivered otherwise. Jigsaw follows up with the doctor. She's the daughter of some big time science guy. Sure, let's trust it. She makes it seem like, oh, she's so fucking busy and kind of like dangles this like idea of being saved in his mind and makes him even more desperate in my opinion. Cecilia is a bitch. She's definitely a good counterpart for John if we're gonna make a movie that spends more time with him. So obviously we are to empathize with him because he's a psychotic killer. Kinda hard to do that. Kinda hard to empathize with the psycho, with the complex. But then Celia, who fucking scams cancer patients. You have to be a very cold person to scam cancer patients. 
So John has his match. I want to see this bitch die. Period. Point fucking blank. Before the scam artists start the scamming, we um, get some nice scenes just following John Kramer arriving to Mexico, meeting the team of people, having a conversation with C Celia. I noticed we had that Charlie Clowns there score. It was scoring. It was scoring. It was bringing back other themes, other musical themes that I've heard in other Saw movies. Also introducing a new character, this child. I can't remember that child's name. I can't remember his name, but he's just around because his dad is like a groundskeeper on the land or something. Very sweet, cute moments. And then we get some good medical horror during John's surgery, which turns up to fade. He's put on anesthesia. He wakes up with the bandage on his head and Cecilia literally says, welcome to the start of your life or some shit like that. Feeding him that fucking hope because she's a fucking evil twat. He's really going with it. <laughs> the placebo is placeboing because John is throwing away fucking head traps that he's fucking drawing in the park and he buys some wine as a gift for Gabriella. When he returns to the site, this is when he realizes that the nigga was dude. Actually, fucking loved this scene. I love the editing style. I love the way that Tobin Bell is acting. Like the devastation on his face is just too fucking real. Although I will say, I think John is too fucking smart to not have realized that he was being scammed because it was so obvious. But he took the bandage off and there was no scar there. And it's fucking crazy because like. I don't know what they thought they were how, like how evil how evil of them to be like we're not even like fuck 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 John is ready John is on the phone like Amanda Hoffman I got a project for you Amanda get your ass to Mexico detective look up these bitches because I'm ready to fight that's exactly how the conversation went we wake up in this some other part of the same room looks like classic saw nasty room has this great um area where john can look over we're watching jigsaw watch his victims because we know that's his favorite thing to do um, i think john is just a reader i think he likes reading people because that nigga's smart as fuck the first trap of the movie is actually not a trap not a fan of the fake out jigsaws having an intrusive thought trap i'm not a fan of it i think the trap itself is cool and it was great for like marketing just its placement in the movie was not great these traps we have valentina mateo celia and gabriella earlier in the film john did put the driver in the trap and he used that essentially to get information i really liked that trap in general the traps in this film are intentional it reminded me how the earlier film the test and the trap itself was relevant to the person that to what the person was doing wrong each trap in this film is really the test of the person's downfall their weaknesses and god jigsaw's philosophy the people who are writing this man's brain just i love it the first trap of the movie is actually not a trap not a fan of the fake out jigsaws having an intrusive thought trap i'm not a fan of it i think the trap itself is cool and it was great for like marketing just its placement in the movie was not great each player goes through their trap one by one except when we get to the very clear final act this is where the movie falls a bit falls apart a little bit for me i just think that the ending was a little bit too predictable anticlimactic um but i do feel like it's probably really hard to keep the plot to to keep the plot twist interesting after 10 films so i can't really be mad i just felt like i kind of saw that ending coming especially because we know like everybody lives um but it was nice to see a player really test or really think they can get over in jigsaw also that dramatic balance trap like that shit's just like gave me chills despite the final act being anticlimactic i still really appreciated that final hopeful pure moment especially because the beginning of the film we're almost feeling so much despair through the lens of john but the ending itself is just so hopeful john gives all the money that the scammers made to the kids so nice and him and amanda walk hand in hand out the doors and of course it ends with the door slam no game over though i would have enjoyed the game over one thing i don't like about this film is that the opening title card is not cool it's ugly 
it's too much it's too modern it's too modern it blew me off but yeah i fucks with this soft film i love it so much it's definitely top five for me in favorites of the year and as time goes on honestly it might scurry its way up to my favorite horror film released this year i don't know because skin rink i really like skin rink i'm a huge fan and missing i really liked missing so they're in my head i don't know what's going to be my faves but yeah, Saw, Saw X is great, and it is one of my favorite sequels for sure. Not better than 2, not better than 3 or 4, but definitely better than 5, maybe better than 6, potentially better than 7, hell yes, better than Spiral and Jigsaw. I do not claim them bitches. Like, I do, I do, but I don't. Jigsaw was the first Saw movie I got to experience in theaters, and it was such a fucking disappointment it really was and spiral was also a disappointment but saw x saw x it's like saw is back baby and honestly i would love to see another prequel of a movie that takes place between two and three because amanda has really long hair in saw three and she has like no hair in saw two so time has passed which means they can make up some shit and the people on the Saw crew really knows how to make these movies connect and still just add shit that makes sense but doesn't but still I don't really give a fuck. Once again if you haven't seen Saw X go to the theaters and see it you will not regret it especially if you are a Saw fan. It's nice to be celebrating a new Saw movie and I'm so glad that this series is still a thing. It's still a thing almost 20 years later. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can always hit the bell to be notified whenever I release new content. Follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram at ghosty underscore, Twitter at ghosty, and letterbox at ghosty. I'll see you guys in the next video.